Hi guys, welcome to another video. Okay, so basically I found this product while randomly browsing through Amazon, intrigued me, I wanted to test it out, so I bought it and then I filmed it. And this is the product. This is a mini portable washing machine with a spin dryer in the same unit. Never knew that these things existed don't need another washing machine because I literally have one at home and it was $800, dryer not included. This is $80. This unit came with a hose and an instruction booklet. Setting it up was fairly simple. Plug it in, duh. The instruction said to connect the included hose from the washing machine to the nearest sink or faucet. Unfortunately, it didn't fit my sink, so I had to do something that I suck at. Thinking of solutions, I thought of this DIY thing where I tie a funnel to the faucet and then connect the hose to the funnel, but then that ended up not working out for me because the water wouldn't go down fast enough to reach the machine, and if I didn't hold it, it wouldn't stay still. The water ended up spilling everywhere, so I just manually added water into the machine which was easier anyway and faster as well there wasn't any indication on how much detergent to use so I just eyeballed it I used about a tablespoon there isn't a correct order on when to add clothes and when to add the detergent so whatever works for you to turn on the machine you have to make sure that the second knob is on standard and then on the first knob which is the timer you just set it to the amount of minutes you want it's in three minute intervals the maximum amount of time is 15 minutes so this all depends on how many clothes you're washing so this machine can wash about nine pounds of clothes so that's pretty good for an $80 machine and I was pleasantly surprised with how strong this thing was spinning you could just put all of the clothes in at once to save time but I just want to show you Don't make the same mistake as I did. I was ignorant with this, but there wasn't any warning in the booklet either. Basically, I didn't need to take out the drainage hose. I didn't need to drain any water until the washing was done. Originally, the hose was standing upright. This way, the water won't spill out because of gravity. I took it out because I thought that I had to drain out the water as it's washing. And that's why it flooded my bathroom. So some things I like so far about this is that you can open the lid and watch it washing but definitely don't leave it out open for too long because it does splash and you can see through it. You can see your clothes being washed so I thought that was cool. After one load is done, you want to take out the drainage hose, make sure that it's facing a bucket, and then switch the second knob to drain, and it will just drain out the water for you. You don't have to like lift the machine up and tilt it so that the water comes out. So I thought this system was very convenient. As the water is draining out, you can see the dirty water come out. It's pretty gross. Naturally, at this time, you would transfer the clothes to the spin dryer, and the spin dryer does not use any heat. I don't really see myself ever using it because it's small and it can't fit a lot of clothes, probably at max two pieces of clothing, so I'm going to make slime in it. <laughs> this will be one of those videos where if someone ever suggested me to make slime in a washing machine, I'm going to be like, I already did that and I didn't need to destroy my $800 machine for it. There is one problem. This dryer has holes in it and I understand why but I didn't want to have to deal with the mess after so I decided to put a slider bag in this and I will make the slime in the slider bag, seal it up, that way it won't be so messy. I don't think you guys are mentally prepared for this spin dryer. You need to be prepared at this moment, at this time, right now. Watch to find out what type of slime I'm going to make. Thank you. 
Just some additional information about this spin dryer. So each spin is a maximum of five minutes, but you don't have to spin for five minutes. You can spin for less than that. Hope I didn't disappoint you, although I kind of like set it up as if something big was going to happen. But basically, this thing causes its own earthquake. Another reason why I won't be using this dryer because you can't leave the premises of this machine. You have to be on watch or else it's gonna move away. But this dryer is indeed very powerful. Very, very powerful. The slime has formed. I might have used a bit too much activator, but... Don't worry, I will fix it. At this point, I wanted to go over my thoughts on this machine and some pros and cons. So I love the price. It is really cheap for what you get. I like that it's portable and you can bring it everywhere wherever there is an electrical source. You can save a lot of money because it doesn't use as much water and electricity. Obviously, some cons are it's mostly manual. You have to add the water in yourself unless you can connect it to a faucet, but I feel like that's kind of slow. You can't wash that many clothes. The spin dryer is not the best, mainly because it moves so much, but that thing is really strong. I can see this being helpful for people who live in small apartments, who don't have a washer or dryer in their unit, and they have to share one with people. Or if someone have to go out to do their laundry, this will eliminate the hassle of going there. After attempting to fix it with lotion and glue, this is better than before but still kind of stiff. Still hope you guys enjoy this video. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you in my next one. Bye!